Good morning, guys. Devin Burris, Power Shine Pressure Washing in Valdosta, Georgia, out here at a lake property. And this is the dirtiest house I've ever seen. I did cleaning for these people before. Great people. Guy's a doctor. He actually delivered my children. His wife is the one who reached out to me to let me know they needed cleaning. That they had this property down here on the lake. Beautiful views. That they needed their porches cleaned off and wanted to know how much it would take. And she was talking about this porch here, one on the front. And she sent me some pictures. I told her typically I go out to a property and I like to look at the property in person before I give a quote or throw numbers but she was pretty confident that it wouldn't be an issue looked it up on Google as you can see here it's relatively clean looking on Google probably looks clean in the video but then you get here and you realize that every square inch is covered in something I mean the rails are covered in green which is typical they're staining all on these bricks this stucco work all needs to be cleaned look at these screens the screens are covered in bugs and it's you would say well that looks relatively typical but i promise you that it's not doing it justice which is why I always like to go out and do in-person estimates. You don't ever know what you're getting yourself into. So I gave the lady a number over the phone, gave her a couple options, and I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. I'm not very transparent about pricing, but I had quoted her $450 to do this back porch and the front porch. And then based off of what I saw on Google, I quoted 650. For the whole house and the porches i get here and realize not only how dirty it is but how big this place is it didn't look big from the pictures it never does regretfully after walking around i had to bite the bullet and call her and explain that there's no way i can do this whole house for 650 I'm sorry I'm just not gonna happen just because of the sheer amount I mean there's wasps there's I'm, I'm scared to get too close to them there's a wasp nest there there's one here full of wasps and eggs every square inch of this place is covered in wasps spiders dirt daubers cobwebs the nastiest house I've ever seen the ceiling fans scary it looks looks like a haunted house I revised my quote and I know some of you are probably wondering what I revised it to it said because I'm already here and I already gave you a number and I feel bad about having to revise it so I'm doing this whole porch and the front porch for 650 for me to come finish the house and do the rest of the house is gonna be about twelve hundred dollars now that includes the porches um, so it's not 1200 extra I know a lot of companies would probably be $2,400 on this place I mean realistically with the amount of work that needs done the amount of processes that it's gonna to take to do it but I'm trying to be a man of my word and give her a good deal there's lichen on the gutter line arch nemesis I'm pulled all the way through here through the house up the stairs the back porch 200 feet 3 8 hose we are Gonna be downstreaming at a 1.25% today. I don't know how many applications it's gonna take. There's so many bugs. We're gonna get to work. That's the lesson, guys. Always go out to a property if you're unsure. This property is about an hour, hour and a half away from where I live. Beautiful property. There's all kind of beautiful properties all around the lake. I feel terrible that the client has to deal with me. I got the cones out because I'm a professional. See, I'm sitting at an incline. Everything's crooked. Not sure how much footage I want to take on this because I'm really just going to focus on trying to clean it. 12 seconds later. We're doing a whole lot of spraying in right now. Spraying and praying it'll come down. I've already treated all this all the way around. I sprayed a bunch of wasps already. It is looking like we're getting a decent reaction though. 
my hose is falling down these stairs. Ah! So I need two hands. I'll show you guys what it looks like after I get in rinse mode and do about a hundred more coats, I'm sure. No, honestly, I think it'll probably take two, maybe three applications, and then I'm gonna have to do a really, really heavy rinse. Rinse everything down super, super good. Oh, it's nasty. It's nasty. It's nasty. Time check. It is 1232. I have soaked this entire area. It has taken me about 15, 20 minutes or so. We're gonna switch over to rinse mode and I'm probably gonna have to do another application, if not two more, to be how it should be. For the birds bro it's got an old old t-shirt on bleached out and that's all right i hope you guys understand that the point of this video is yeah i mean i'm cleaning stuff that's great and all but you can watch cleaning videos all day long on any other channel it's really for me to tell myself in the future you always go out and do in-person estimate i know a lot of guys that have their opinion on this and they want to go and they want to do it by google blah 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 i can't i'm sorry i just I can't justify it because of jobs like this. Bit me in the behind too many times, so that's not how we do it. I go out to a job, I look at the job, I give the client my honest opinion on the job, and I give them a price that I think is fair for me, it's fair for them, it's competitive. If I book the job, great. If I don't, not to say that in a nonchalant way, like, oh, there's always another job to replace this one if you don't get one. Um, my company, we run a $200 minimum. That's just, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna come out for less than that but I've done a lot of those for 200 bucks. So I'm not above it, you know, but I'm also not gonna work myself ragged on a job like this. The amount of bugs and spiders and wasps and dirt and crud on this house, it's beyond normal. I mean, washing this one place is probably like washing six or seven regular houses. One side of the house has as much bugs and filth on it as pretty much most whole houses that have gone for two years without having to wash. I've never seen this level of, it is what it is. It is 1236. <laughs> I've let it dwell a whopping four minutes. I don't want to carry my camera up there. I've got chemicals dripping all down here. So let's rinse it down. Probably have to come back down here and do another application. You tell me in the comments down below. Let me know what you would have quoted this job at. I'm being transparent. I don't always do that. I don't like throwing my pricing out there. For the amount of work that needs done, all these columns are stuck up. They need a, a higher percentage. That's a whole nother system. They have concrete out here that needs to be cleaned. The whole house needs to be done. There's wood, there's brick, there's all different kinds of things. So $2,500, $2,600. Probably with any other company realistically in this area. Um, and I was transparent, told the client that and told her like, look, if we didn't already have a relationship, if I hadn't already washed your other property, that's what you'd be looking at. I am all done upstairs and this turned out beautiful. Did all these railings, all the ceiling. I had to come back and do a second application. Came out beautiful, clean. All of that was dirty before if you remember. All of this was really nasty and it's clean now. All up around these ceiling fans. Staining here, dirty spots from dirt daubers. That's just not gonna come off with the initial cleaning. Super happy with the way this turned out though. Um, maybe they'll be able to get out here and enjoy this beautiful view now. Enjoy the lake without getting bit by spiders or swarmed by wasps. I really hope they're happy with it. I'm sure they will be. And I'm sure I'll be back to do the rest of the house. So now I gotta go do the front porch. It's all been soaked down. So I've already put an application on it. Big old stains. Crud and fill. Yum. So staining like that right there is gonna still be there. I'm trying to get rid of all of this nastiness. Oh, don't she look pretty down there? All done. There is still a little bit of crud in this corner here and same on the other side and there's some clean streaking on the siding. But that's to be expected when you're not cleaning the whole property. But we produced a really nice result for these people. Cleaned all this off for them. Got it looking nice. Cleaned all these railings. There's still spots and staining. 
where dirt dauber nests, wasp nests, all that stuff was, that's just not going to come off um, with an initial cleaning. Next time you do a cleaning, the spots will diminish more and more and more. I'm about to roll up hoses. As you can see, I've got them all laid out here. I've only got a hundred foot of water hose pulled off. We'll roll it up and then we'll get out of here. If you guys like this content, if there's anything else you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments below. As always, wash on. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.